Palin leading the 2012 race by five points over Mitt Romney. Well, Aren't I, you the front runner for the nomination? Nope. Don't know who conducted that poll, and I know the polls are fickle. And heck, after this interview, Chris, uh, we may see a, a plummeting in the poll numbers. Who knows? <laughs> it's, it, these are fickle. I, I can't comment on, on what the poll numbers mean today. Why wouldn't you run for president? I would. I would if I believe that that is the right thing to do for our country and for the Palin family. Certainly, I would do so. And how do you make that decision over the next three years? It's going to be, thankfully, a lot of time to be able to make such a decision. Right now, I'm looking at, as I say, other uh, potential candidates out there who are strong. They're in a position of having kind of this luxury of having more information at their fingertips right now so that the current events that we're talking about today, they... Um, but, they but wait, 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 because you... <laughs> You're, you're basically saying you will consider it. I think that it would be absurd to not consider what it is that I can potentially do to help our country. I don't know if it's going to be ever seeking a title, though. It may be just doing a darn good job but, but, as a, a reporter or covering some of the current but events. You're, but you're going to consider. You're going to go through the process of thinking. I about won't close a door that... Uh, perhaps could be open for me in the future. I don't want any American to ever close the door in their personal or their their professional lives and, and put themselves in a box and say, heck yeah, I'm going to do that, or no way, I'm not going to do that, when we don't know what the future holds. There's a report this weekend that you are now getting daily email briefings on domestic and foreign policy issues from a group of top advisors in Washington, D.C. How come? Ever since our PAC was formed, we have had good people contributing, um, some, many volunteers, uh, I guess you would call them advisors, yes, firing away emails to me every morning saying, this is what's happened in Washington uh, overnight, you need to be aware of this. Good. It's great. It's helpful. Do you, I mean, isn't that the move of somebody who is thinking about running for president? You mean conventionally how someone would want? I have no idea how conventionally people do this, how they, how they try to open a door that perhaps isn't even open. And, and if that involves having a group of uh, advisors send them emails every morning, I don't know how any of that stuff works. I don't know. I'm just appreciative of having some good information at my fingertips right now. Would you right say now. you're more knowledgeable?